All right, guys, arrived at the first spot of the day. We have two days ahead of us of just fishing and crabbing, general adventures, and then we're gonna cook up everything at the end for a big seafood feast. Pelicans were just here. That probably means that there are some fish in the area because the pelicans were just here fishing. Anyway, guys, check out Zach's uh, channel down in the description. I actually went to Maine earlier this year, but did not film with him because he was busy doing his pirate ship. Yes, he built a pirate ship. No joke. Check it out. I'll link it in the description. So what I want to do is pay him back for the amazing time I had in Maine a couple years ago. And I figured the South Carolina coast would be the best place to do that. A lot of sharks, a lot of stingrays, a lot of fish, a lot of crabs, a lot of shrimp, a lot of just crazy creatures here. How good are your uh, cast net skills? None. None? Oh, well, I have this never one. done a cast net, so really? I was looking forward oh, to this. Really? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, I it's, have il two. it's illegal in Maine. It's illegal to cast yeah. it in Maine? Yeah, it's illegal. Oh, that's crazy. This is a perfect yeah, you practice. You buy them on Amazon, they take it out of your cart. If you try to buy it on Amazon... That's communism. It, it, yeah, they won't let it even come to you. Good grief. Yeah. What are we living oh, in? Communist. communist. That is like, you can't even buy it. Like, what yeah. if I'm taking it somewhere? Yeah. That's idiotic. So I'm all about learning. All right, so that is a perfect, um, pro that's a perfect, because um, it's small, practice one. Um, they're, the smaller they are, the easier they are to cast. So first thing you wanna do is take the loop and just kind of put that around right. your arm. Much more difficult on the boat than on land. Basically, I spin around just to get it going. And then that was just an okay throw. That looked good. But you release this hand first and then this hand second, and that gets it to spread. Yeah, you got the idea, exactly. Exactly. Oh, shoot, I'm snagged on something. Snag? Want me anchor? Yeah, it yeah, looks... I see like a stick. Uh-huh. Something on the forward side. Like you see metal. Oh, look, look, redfish right there. Red. Oh, my goodness, guys, there are fish here. Um, you know what we might have to do is wait for... Look oh, at that, yeah, you see him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. Um, what we'll have to do is wait for low tide. I think we're going to have to... And then we can just get yeah, it off Yeah, then we'll just there. get it off when it, this this will become a yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can even un unhook it or whatever it's got to be. Yeah. First good throw of the day, and I get snagged on a piece of metal, but when the tide comes down, we'll just grab it and, uh, yeah... Oh wait, I just saw something flick in the shallows. We'll go right toward that flick. Oh, got something. Yes. Oh, one of them just dropped out, but we got two. Yes, we got two like shad, folks. I saw something flick on the surface. Zach, if you would, if you would get that uh, bait thing ready. Guys, that is exactly what we're hoping for. Look at those shiny little morsels. That is like redfish and flounder candy right there. Two. Yep. Modern. Good to go. Sweet. It's kind of deep right there. Oh, I got one. Got a mullet. Yes. And a little shad. And a little shad. Yes. All nice. right. I'll let you take care of it. Guys, check it out. We got a, that's a little spot, I think, and a mullet. Yes. Yes, another one. Thank you, sir. See, because I, th I have a feeling that redfish might be in these reeds right along here, especially in that little cut. Yeah. So I say we fish a little bit. Okay. My friends, South Carolina is not supposed to be this cold, but we're on the back end of a massive cold front. I know. Oh, I just scared a bunch of little fish when I casted that. Um, we're on the back end of a massive cold front that just moved through. So the fishing might be just a smidge on the slow side. My friends, we're gonna cut up the mullet. Cut mullet is a dangerous bait. Deadly. All right, guys, I've switched to just a slightly smaller hook and a little piece of bait because we are getting trash down there, but we're not sure what it is. Fish on. Nice. Thing. Little guy. Whatever he is. Ah, bait. Uh, Pinfish. Yes, I see, that's, that's what's been stealing. Holy cow. Did I, I can't even believe I caught that. <laughs> on that hook? Uh, on the hook. Like, that is... That's dedication for you. <laughs> I just spent so long. That's a good And I size. caught him on that hook. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't say I can't catch small fish everywhere I go. I got a knack for it. <laughs> I got a knack for it. You travel and, worldwide. Uh, we're catching bait. One food, we're catching fish. <laughs> one bite at a time. We'll catch those fish. Got one. There got you one. go. 
pinfish for me, my friends. Right. We'll do it. You can use them live or cut. This will, the guy this size will probably be cut up. These are like the bluegill of salt water, especially around here. They are just so spiky. And it burns when they get you. Food chain, food chain challenge here. Yeah, food chain challenge. I see the top of the net coming up over there, guys. That Oh, Zach's got one. See the tide coming down. You guys can see it's flowing pretty hard. Oh, you got oh you got a uh, little croaker. That is a great piece of bait as well. Sweet. Croaker, huh? mm -hmm. In fact, if he um, he'll make a little croaking sound. Oh, guys, <laughs> you guys know that is a d juicy one there. Sometimes they'll make this like drumming sound in the back of their throat. Yeah. It's like one of those metal poles you get from Home Depot. And, yeah. <sighs> Appreciate you, Zach. Yeah. Oh. There, got it. <sighs> Thank you. Well, we make a pretty good team anyway. All right, guys, we're gonna go to new fishing grounds here. The fun part was uh, with the house with my pirate tip. <laughs> Beautiful work with that pond, though. That was so cool. Like, if you want that piece, you can hook the whole thing. You think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the redfish one. Like the horse flounder. The pond is really cool. I'm like super jealous. It's like it's such a sweet <laughs> little pond and the trout and everything. Uh huh. But he's been in between them for whatever mysterious like reason. You got it. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Get, get away from that pile. Yep. Uh, I lost him. Oh dang it. <laughs> that oh. was a Decent one, I that was, and, and remember, with that circle hook, you don't if you uh, don't snap it, just give it a pull. Uh, a snap. Will pull Sorry, it. that was a good fish too. Right? Yeah, that was. That was a little bit. There you go. That cut pin fish. That was an act. Nice. Oh, I'm getting bit too. Oh, guys, Zach's got one. I get the net. What you got? Redfish. Yes. There we go. All right. Oh, you might be a little under the slot. Uh oh. We'll have to check the regulations, but there we go, guys. That's exactly. No, they do not. Okay. Yeah, look at the blue tail on that one. Look at, nice. Look at that yeah. spot. Oh, nice. that is beautiful. First Here, real click, fish. Me, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, fish uh, I'll take a photo. Excellent. Guys, we can feel the oyster beds down there. We switched to some cut pinfish. And, uh, yeah. Shh. 40 inches. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's like 15. Oh, you might yeah, be. Let me look real quick. And 15 and a half. Yeah. Drum red. Between 15 and 23 inches. 15 and 23. Let's check again then. It's Is it that? Yeah, that's zero. Zero. Zero inches. right there. And yeah, that's a 16. Almost yeah, oh, 16. Dude, you, you got a Six. slot red. Yeah. Just barely over. All right. All right. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. Glad I brought you along. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes. Nice. Got him. Fish on. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, it's a toadfish. Oh, that's a cool looking fish. Look at this, guys. A toadfish. You guys call it toadfish? Uh-huh. We call it, I think we have those in Maine and we put them in the lobster traps. Sometimes. Oh, really? Maybe it's a slightly different breed. Uh, there are tons of... Sculpin. Oh, sculpin, yeah. This is, there are tons of different types of toadfish. Some of them are venomous. I don't know the difference, so we'll be just be. In fact, what we'll do, guys, we'll just drop him over the side because it's like there's spikes. This one guy looks pretty harmless. Yeah, he's. Some doesn't of them, look like he has much meat to him anyway. No, <laughs> no. And some of them, their skin is like toxic. Um, and I don't know the difference, so I'm not, and I'm not gonna risk it and find out. Huh? Yeah, like the flesh has um, a toxin that will make you sick. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Yep, yep. Get him. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Want me to net him or just? Uh, oh, you can just haul him in. That's a small redfish. Yeah. yeah. Still, still though. I mean, yeah. he he's gonna be close actually. Now <laughs> look at him up. For some reason, he looks smaller than the one. He is. He is. He's twelve. Twelve inches. Not okay. even twelve. Uh, well, I mean, if I get my fingers off of him, he's twelve and a quarter. <laughs> but, but all right. That's cool. Uh huh. Guys, they're loving them some cut pinfish. All right, all right. Another pretty little fish. Goodbye. Good luck. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have a house that you knew you could just walk out your back door and catch redfish like this? Well, I know, right that <laughs> right there. Right 
<laughs> just, I just, I want that house. Yeah. It's funny because we're not getting hammered with pinfish bites right here. That's because the redfish are scaring them away. Maybe a good rule of. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Look, bait's gone. Dang it, guys! I had him, had him like almost below the boat. Nice. Uh, oh no, you got a toad fish. That's what was up. <laughs> I probably should have done it sooner than later. Has he got a mark from where you caught him? No, <laughs> no. different one. That's a tiny guy. If you get little strips off him, if you wanted to risk it, we could always eat. Try to eat one. <laughs> well, there's like nothing to him. Look at like yeah. Like where is there any meat? Nothing. Uh huh. He's, he's like, like he's like a head. He's he just looks a like head. a tadpole. Like he's got, like <laughs> he a, he's got like, like, like a fat gut there of junk that he's eating off the bottom, and. uh <laughs> Maybe if we catch a bigger one. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Like, we'll, we might try one, guys. Another one. Boy, you are on it. Is, what is that? Is that, a, is that just another? Okay, I thought it was a trout at first. Yeah. Ooh, that one might be. He's going to be close. Boy, I cannot get a redfish bite. And Zach, I'm putting a beat down on him. Oh, his tail got chewed. He's only 14. He's only 14. Ah, shoot. Whatever. Got him, got him. Something was swimming with mine. Nope, I don't. It's it's uh, our oyster. An oyster. <laughs> Guys, this is what I'm catching. <laughs> and you see what Zach's catch. Got him. I got a good one. Or something. Nope. I got oyster beds. Oyster Dude, are you, <laughs> look at this. You want to eat oysters? <laughs> I don't know if they're in season. That just looks like a dead oyster. Well, uh, there might be a live one there. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Might be just more oysters. It ain't fighting. <laughs> more oysters. What in the heck? Coming down to the wire for Ace to catch a good fish. It's still been a successful day, but. Alright, guys, I've switched to one of the old Cajun corks. And, uh,. Just to give the bait a little bit different presentation. We're not getting them on the bottom rigs anymore. Slack tide, I wonder if they're just kind of more roaming around. Some tiny, not obnoxious thing. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, man. Got him. You did? Mm hmm. Oh. What is. <gasps> it's. Oh. Yes! I oh, finally got a redfish. 12 inches. <laughs> well, so nice. I switched to switched the bobber. And you nailed him. <laughs> I wanted Maybe that different not. presentation. Yeah, he's like 12 and a half. <sighs> Dang. Did he choke it too? He did. You guys, what fish jumped right over here? Oh, look. Oh, look. A fish jumped right there. Oh, and right there. Oh, dude. dude Zach, we might have a feeding frenzy going on here. A little evening feeding frenzy right after the sun went down. Got him, got him. Big fish, big fish. Yes. Okay, not that big, but he took it like a freight train. Now I'm gonna just lift him. Oh, oh that one might be a keeper. A yes, uh, bigger one. yes. Let's push away from there, Doc, so we don't. Yes. <laughs> he just, I just, the bobber was just like yep. taking off. Smoked it. Have one for each Put of us. on the fish stretcher, I forgot. That's a meatier looking one than the one I caught, I think. <laughs> 15. Oh, that's the 16 inch where that's I thought it was a 15. That's yeah, that's oh, a yeah, he's a keeper. He's 16 with one, the tail. He's a 16 inch. A 16. Yes. yes. Two slot Double. fish. <laughs> All yes. right. Oh. Are you getting bite? Uh, it's getting, it did. It got sucked all the way over to the dock. Oh. It's funny how switching the bobber guys yeah. got him. Well, that was a good first afternoon. Zach just got here yesterday, guys. And uh, so we have like five days of adventures ahead of us. Good first little time out on the boat. See you guys in the morning. I'm gonna get in here. Yeah, that coffee I made was way too potent. Way too well, yeah. I'll put hair on your chest. Yeah. Let's put it this way, guys. It, uh, it was a little strong this morning. But uh, check out the new catch and cook, the trout catch and cook mug 
Link down in the description. Several of you guys have already ordered it within the first few days. I didn't even plug it yet, but it's a beautiful mug. Turned out even better than I'd hoped, so check it out. <laughs> I'll bring you one. I'll send you one. I'm taking that one home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it's watered down, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. It's not just right. Yes. All right, my friends. Day two of the adventure. Got everything loaded up. It's kind of nice because this rental we have is right by the marina. Alright guys, another chilly day, another kind of windy day, but it's good. It's supposed to be about 10 degrees warmer though than it was yesterday. So the first thing we did was troll around in one of these creeks looking for bait to cast net, but the tide was high, so I think the bait was a little scattered. So we decided to fish this point. This was first stop, first cast of the day. Whoa, that's, that's big. Redfish. That's a huge. Holy cow, dude. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Already yes. first stop. Look at the size of that. The first cast, oh, guys, man. of the day. Yes! Oh, my that goodness. First cast, yes. Wow. That is... That is... Should be right in the slot. Now, this was a difficult decision because the fish was right at the 23-inch mark. In fact, it was exactly 23 until you fanned its tail out, and then it went over the slot. So we didn't know what to do at first. We kept measuring and measuring, and finally we decided, you know, it's better to just play it safe and let it go instead of get in trouble. And it was the first cast of the day, so we assumed we were going to catch a bunch more. Majestic. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, my friends. Right by, and they are right sitting on this point. Just textbook redfish. I can feel all the oyster beds down there. Sweet. You guys, it's interesting because we're using strips of cut pinfish, and I've noticed that in striper fishing, well, one time we were out with a guide, and it was cold, and it was tough, Got him. and we were using live trout, which yep. you think would get them, but it wasn't getting them. And I remember oh. I used a strip Whoa. of cut trout, Whoa. which surprised the guide. I was like, I just want to use one cut. And he's like, well, you can if you want to. And I ended up catching a really nice striper on it. And I think sometimes when it's cold like this, using actually little bits of cut bait, it's it's very fragrant in the water for the fish, easy for them to swallow. And I'm wondering if that's why we're getting more fish despite these uh, these cold fronts. Oh, look at that, got another one. Like, I think that the, wow. I, I just think that maybe in the cold front conditions, strips of fish versus live pin fish is getting more bites. I cannot believe how strong these are. I think this is another red. They are so old, and this looks like a keeper. Yep. Oh yeah, he's barely hooked if you could look at it barely on the edge. Got Thank it. you. Yeah. All right, that should be a keeper. Yep. 16. 16 over 16. 16 and a half, something like that. Yep. We're gonna be able to take redfish back home and cook it for the family. Every time I come down here, I'm, since I'm still kind of newbie at it, I'm a little on edge that I'll be able to figure out the pattern. I'm getting nibbled, getting nibbled. Got him, got him again. Yeah, wow. Three fish in four casts. That's wow. wild, huh? Yeah, that is. That's a nice that is. feeling. I'm gonna steal that spot now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just thought there is a vessel sure, limit. A tail? There, um, How many are we allowed? Let's see, we have, wait, we have four. We're allowed. Well, I think we're allowed two per day. Fishing game though doesn't wouldn't know. That we were from yesterday. Yeah, unless we proved it to him. Well, we have video evidence. We do have video evidence. This guy's right on the edge, so I'm just gonna throw yeah. him back. Uh, we'll wait for a bigger one. Huh? We do have video. That, that's an interesting question. Oh, you're getting bit. Oh, I yeah. Got something small. Something different. Oh no, maybe. It's maybe. It's Zach's guys, this is fast action. Yeah, it's some serious action here. Well, maybe we need to just keep a uh, big one if we get it. Like, yeah, yeah. Not worry about um, anything small right now. 
Wait, what is that? Is that something? Oh, no, it's a small... I, thought, I keep hoping for speckled trout. To me, they yeah, look kind of similar. Yeah, different. Yeah, uh-huh. There we go. So, All right, he's... He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's undersized. Undersized. By Guys, a bit. yeah, there's, uh, we come upon a little, there's, uh, two per person per day on redfish. We Fish, got a dilemma. <laughs> we do have a dilemma because we've only kept two for the day, but we have four in the cooler. And if we got stopped by fishing game, and they are, um, I've seen them around here before, they wouldn't know that we caught them over two days. So we may have to, like, call out these ones, or I don't know what we'll do. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, a flounder! A flounder! Okay. Oh, nice! But hey, there's a start. There's <laughs> yeah. a start. See, I told you they all swam together. Flounder, oh, I want to keep her so bad. Like, yeah, I, I've like never a big old... one. This is my first flounder. Oh, really? Nice. Yes. Look at it. It's so funny. They're half a fish. Yeah. <laughs> like this little half a. That's so wild. I think they're as far as coolness goes. They're one of the coolest fish you can catch. There. I'll take a picture. Because it's on the super wide. He looks huge. <laughs> yeah. That's the key, the angle. All right. How do they have that. to be? 12? 16. 16? Yeah, have, that's, that's humongous. He's a perfect little <laughs> pan fry. Like, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a crappy size, uh, but uh, no, not, yeah. not big enough. What a wild fish. Oh, amazing. That they could just be so yeah. flat I, like that. To, what a wild. Like a mini halibut. In yeah. It. <laughs> you guys have halibut in Maine, right? Oh, yeah. Is it so interesting? I haven't gotten any bites on a bobber. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah. Right when you say that. <laughs> like, I haven't gotten any. Yeah. Start saying that more I haven't gotten I any on a bobber. In a minute. <laughs> I, no bobbers, no nothing. Nothing's working. <laughs> Boom. Catch them. Is that small? Oh, that's yeah. good size. He might be. That's a good, that's a, that's that's, like a keeper. Looks like slurped it. He's there. He's there. And eight. Fifteen and yeah, about a quarter or so. Sweet. We're almost to our vessel limit, which is uh, six. It's one more. One more fish, guys. And we're gonna move spots because we'll have our vessel limit. We're gonna stick to the vessel limit, and we'll explain if we get stopped by fish. Oh, you got him. We'll explain to fishing game that we caught two of them yesterday because the limit's two per person. Y'all get the net. That looks like heavy or something. Uh, it might just be this rod, kind of crazy. That's a decent. This might be the one. Yeah, look at the spots. Look, oh, he has like man. triple spots. He's spotted, like super spotted. Like four, four spots. Like a bunch of spots. Yeah. Interesting. We we could play this like dice, you know, like like every time we catch one, that's the competition. Is like, okay, so I got a a one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a six. I rolled a six. <laughs> I rolled a six. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. He's short. That's a pretty one though. Yeah. Beautiful little spots, huh? Yeah, sweet. We are on it back here, guys. This is excellent. Oh, got him. You got one. Doubles. Doubles. Double in it. All right, doubles. Sweet. All right. Mine's bigger than yours. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, mine's a throwback. I'm joking. Sure. I'm just... Ah, oh, he's just short. Well, cool. Cheer. All right, double it up. <laughs> Cheers. Throw him back. Boom. That was fun. Right at the same time. Like, right, guys, there might be a pocket of redfish right here between these two dogs. Yeah. I cannot believe how they're biting in these cold front conditions. This is yeah. wonderful. Oh, your bobber's gone. Nice. Bring him through. He might just be. Oh, I think he is. I think he, I is. Think he is. Guys, I told Zach, when it turns 11.33, we're going to head out of here no matter what, because I want to fish the beaches. There, I think that's the mark. Yeah. It's longer. He's, he's on there. Yeah. Mouth closed, tail on. Tail on. Barely. He is 15 and an eighth. All 15 right. and a sixteenth. I'd say. Get the fish stretcher out. Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> I think even. I say oh, that's it. Yeah, it's 11.34. Yeah, we got him. Sweet. Let's, guys. It has been a wonderful morning at this spot. That's the one. Yeah, sure. Yes. All right, got our vessel right. limit of redfish. Was... Sweet. I just saw a dolphin. Oh, 
guys, you got dolphins. Yeah. Oh. It's <laughs> they're, oh, yeah, oh, look, they're feeding. Look, oh, the dolphins all over. There's something just absolutely slashed the surface. Look at <laughs> Two of them. That's cool. Here, let's see if they'll eat a pinfish head. Ah, they probably won't. They're like, are you kidding me? A little pinfish head? What am I? Redfish? I eat redfish. They're like, I only want the freshest stuff. All right, guys, so we have a bit of bait that showed up. The great bait debate. I like it. Oh, 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 I saw something in it, but we got some shrimp. We got shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimps. Shrimps. All right. We could, well, a little small to eat, but we could use them for bait or something. Yeah. Even if we used them tomorrow. A couple of shrimp guys. Oh, oh something. Uh, yeah. Mullet. Oh, baby. And shrimp. Shrimp. Look at that big mullet right there. One shrimp and one mullet. <laughs> yeah. We could try eating the mullet. Right. <laughs> or just save them for your video tomorrow. Guys, we're going right. to film some videos. Check out Zach's channel. We're going to have some fun the next couple of days. That is a good idea. Zach just threw out a line before we start cooking. We'll just have that out the back. Just in case. All right. So I think we should. So we're going to clear the deck and have the fire right here. Yes, guys, we're going to make a fire in the boat. Wait till you see this. All right. <laughs> Look, firewood and fire starter. So we got a bunch of wood. Yeah, get our wood out. I think we got way more than enough wood actually. Okay. <laughs> but that's cool though, that we were able to put that much wood right inside of it. Uh-huh. There we go. All right. Crazy. Top, there's our wok holder. Our wok is sweet. <laughs> and then that's our bottom ring so we don't burn it. Uh, don't burn it the deck will get the warm. It will get like hot to the touch where it, from here to here will be like kind of too hot and it kind of like can burn. But not you. the bottom. But so. not the bottom. Like huh. yeah. And then and then it's on. anyways. That and now she's ready to go. Once we get our little fire started. All right. Survival survivor ace here. Zach and I are poles apart when it comes to that. In fact, I tried to give uh, survival advice one time in my videos, and. Um, Actually, it was an experiment. Somebody, is it, somebody said wheat thins are uh, great for fire, uh, fire starter. starter. Never. And like they, they kind of actually are, but by the time you actually get them started, it's the same as just like anything, any stick <laughs> or anything. So how many of these do I? I would use? just use one at a time. Save them for you other times. Use one. So yeah. Maybe like a little, like if you fluff the edge up a little bit, mm. like those little pieces may be what light. Well, what in the... <laughs> Which is, um... Oh, 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 oh you got, I got it. it! I got it! He got it! Okay, the... so that, those wow. cubes are definitely harder to do than a piece of fatwood. Fatwood is like a a pine soaked branch that uh, on the pine tree down close to the bottom when it, something breaks it soaks with the sap and that okay. when you scrape it up a little bit that takes a spark really easily okay so there we go wow oh I'm gonna put these on that'll put the rim on yeah that makes the gases burn the right way cool and stuff so it, like it burns it comes up through here and the gases burn so it doesn't ends up smokeless nice well, Zach, I never thought I'd make a fire on the boat. Right? Here we go. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, that is sweet. And then, guys, this is for the cooking part. This goes yep. just right there. And we have a walk, which we'll get out in just a second. Walk, walk over and get the walk. Yeah. Walk up. Nice. Walk, walk up. All right, so most important thing, 
don't put water in this when it's hot. Okay. Because it's cast iron, you'll break it, right? But I did to not know clean that. it, <laughs> to clean it, if you leave it all crusty, put it on, and while it's cool, put water in there. It happens with a little chainmail square. That's okay. how you scrub them. Literally, oh, yeah. a piece of chainmail. That's how you clean them. Oh, so interesting. It rubs the seasoning into it, and it seasons it, and it keeps it all nice. Epic. That's so cool. So <laughs> those people are gonna be like, "Do they have a fire on their boat?" <laughs> Did you hear him talking? No, no, they they're looking over here. Though. To say something. Yeah. All right, my job is to make tartar sauce. So we got we got the chopper, the chopper, the cutting board, the pickles made in Maine that I brought for us, garlic pickles and mayonnaise, mayonnaise. We got some of these dessert. Ace's mom's cookie brownie things. I brought two. Good. I thought we'd be. I almost wish we had snacked on them earlier. <laughs> I brought the Amish log. You all. We gotta use the Amish log. <laughs> Amish log. The good stuff. Get to chop in. Two pickle tartar sauce. some of the new fireberry sauce. You can see it's so hot, they, the label's even a little bit burnt. There, <laughs> that was because it was next to the fire. These are just a test run. We haven't really officially made this a thing just yet. So, I'll put that in there. That's a tartar. I can clean some redfish. You know, one advantage of that fire is it is keeping the gnats and the no seams away. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah, it is working, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little redfish fillet. Throw that over the side, we might get to attract a shark or something up here. Do some uh, garlic and shallots for Ace to throw on the pan when, he, when we fry up the fish. I do love the taste of shallots, but what a pain in the neck they are to get out of their little skins. Not as bad as garlic. We're just gonna eat two red fish yeah. for now. Zach already has All right. the. You ready? Wow! Yes, I am ready. Got do what I what am. we came uh, out here to do. Got... No, we probably do one without putting one more piece on just in case. That is sweet. It can get pretty darn hot. But it's amazing how it's not hot on the outside or like. It'll burn you underneath. Yeah, it'll. It's like... hot to the touch at the bottom, but like yeah, from here up is like. John has my my guy that works for me has a big burn on his leg oh. from putting it against one of these. Oh, okay. You know, so they do have little baskets that go around them that you can get for like oh. to be real fancy. But I mean, it's a fire. But we're men. Don't so. stick your leg against a fire. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, and like, who would who would make a fire on the boat? You know, like, come on. Yeah. Right over the uh, gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to rock and roll. Yeah. I'd say so. All right, Zach has Irish butter, the big log. Amish. Oh, Amish. Amish butter. Yeah. <laughs> There's Irish butter. Amish oh, butter. Oh, it's the luck of the butter. <laughs> luck of the butter. I thought they had Irish butter, though. Oh, they sure they do. Um, okay. <laughs> you had Amish. Sure they do. <laughs> sure they do, Lottie. <laughs> Something that's probably more uh, Scottish. Um, yeah. Let's carve off. Could you take the choppa? Guys, I'll put a link to Zach's choppas in the description because they're just so epic. Oh man, that's getting hot. Yeah. Shallots and stuff. Mm -hmm. And garlic. 
All right. It's nice having someone to help. I'm not like doing this all by myself. I know. I, I, super I always nice. do end up doing everything myself. Uh huh. Like you did the fish, and it's like I. That's the only thing I ever get tired of with fish is, is filleting them. Filleting them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not a chef, so remember, if I'm doing something wrong, you're like, mm, I wouldn't do it. Like I am totally fine with that. All right. First thing we're gonna do. Drag it. Maybe. Drag it go. through. Yeah. There you go. Nestle it down in the butter. We'll just do two pieces. First. Oh, I see. Stick the whole thing right in there. We'll stick the whole it. thing. Yeah, okay. We can, we can put them right in. Yep. Nailed it. Just keep them moving. And, this, and I got two little random strips there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting excited now. All right, I got here some chili lime seasoning. Thank you so much to the Schwartz family for sending this to me. I appreciate it. This is from Trader Joe's. It has chili and lime in it. I had this once before now that I think about it. It was just a really long time ago. But uh, Zach's never had redfish and he said he's never had this seasoning. So I thought, mm -hmm. let's hit him with two things, new things at once here. This is really cool, Zach. Yeah, isn't it? Wow. Fire on the boat, folks. Don't try it at home. I'm gonna flip them. Oh yeah. We're getting there. Beautiful. Sweet. Look at how the shallots are like sticking to it, guys. We got some. Dropping the flavor bomb. Mm-hmm. And the Amish butter. Not to be confused with Irish butter. Add some seasoning to this side. <laughs> oh, that is looking great. Ah, oh, a nice crispy crisp to it. I said it done. Yes, I think so. 10 seconds mm -hmm. or something just so we get a little crisp on the Sounds side. Sounds good. Or... A plate for you, sir. Yeah. A plate for me. You know, if you will hold both the plates, okay, hold, yeah, I totally. will serve. Hot by the solo show. It is. This thing is hot. Well, you can bring it out here. Like that'd be fun to do. Uh, like some sort of winter edition. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty chilly, but like do a straight up like snowing. Ah, have a hot meal, guys. On on kind of a chilly day is so nice. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh sorry. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm like trying to move my hand closer to. <laughs> Wait. Get yeah, all the sh shallots and stuff. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, dude, that uh, this is. Thank you, guys. Zach gave this to me. Appreciate yeah. this whole setup. So you guys will probably see this again. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, it's gonna it. be your new favorite. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like this is gonna be your new like. Oh my goodness, I can't go. With, oh, I didn't left without it. I gotta go home. Right, Ready? So to remove the walk, he's going to use logs and set it on top of three logs. There, there we go. Nice. And then we hey. got a fire to warm ourselves. Yep. Do you want me to put the tartar sauce right on it? Oh, uh, sure. I'm down. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'll pray real quick. Yeah, yeah. Dear Lord, thank you so much for an incredibly blessed time out here and all your creation we got to enjoy. As you bless this food to our bodies now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for the catch. Yeah, a lot of good catches oh, today. Oh, man. Caught more than we could handle, but... Mmm. Mmm, that has a very different flavor. Yeah, mm. it's just like its own unique, totally unique fish. It is, very. Very good tartar sauce. Mmm. I love all the pickles and stuff packed in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of tartar sauces are a lot of mayonnaise, and you, you have like tons of good um, relishes in there. That is a really good combo, because you have the bold flavor of the chili lime, and then the smooth tartar sauce. Yeah. Uh, that was good. That was really good. That has to be one of the best fish cooks I've had. <laughs> yeah, really? That was just like, yeah. That's definitely in my top ten, top yeah. five. I don't know. You guys, we just mowed through this red fish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we hardly, hardly talked. Just... One more treat here. 
Oh. All right. The holy grail of brownies. <laughs> cookies. I don't know what they are. Are they cookies or are they brownies? Yeah, well, they're kind of cookie-like, uh, but they, they are technically blonde brownies. Blonde brownies. Yes. Oh. My mm. mom made these guys, and Zach, uh, Zach is addicted I to them. I love I them. Mm. I'm, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> she made a bunch for the trip. In fact, you could kind of heat them up over the fire there. Yeah. Oh, I like it cold. I you like? like I, I don't. Chewy. I'm not patient enough. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for this. I brought <laughs> yeah. these. I snuck them into the basket. They are. They're just perfect. They're just. They're loaded with chocolate chips, and almonds, and they're. Um, they're chewy. They have a little chew to them. They're not bready like they fall apart. They're just, mm -hmm. they're perfect. Well, is that... Just like your mom. Practically <laughs> perfect in every way. I, I love her already. I haven't even met her yet. But like... Zach, appreciate you guys. I have a new solo stove, uh, new boat fire. But I won't go around telling people that without any context. Yeah, I got a boat fire. <laughs> um, and a new walk. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Guys, check out his channel. Link in the description. We're going to be filming a bunch of other videos over the next few days. So he's going to have some cool ones on his channel. Check them out. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.